Ukraine is called the breadbasket of Europe, the dark, fertile soil perfect for wheat to grow. In the past, Ukraine supplied 25% of the wheat to the entire Soviet Union. In fact, the yellow on the country's flag represents wheat. Needless to say, bread is important. When I arrived in Ukraine on a gray afternoon in March, 75 of us were bused to an old-looking hotel. There we were greeted, wide-eyed, by Peace Corps staff in traditional clothes, holding a round loaf of bread and a small bowl of salt. We were told to tear a piece of the bread and dip it into the salt and eat to represent a new friendship. Vitaimo. Welcome. A year later, my family took their first trip abroad to visit me in Ukraine. My community had pulled out all the stops for my family's arrival. My 10th grade class dressed up in their traditional clothes, holding homemade bread made by one of my counterparts. Then, just like I had a year earlier, they ripped off a piece and dipped it in the salt. After, they were whisked into the auditorium for a huge show put on by my students. They presented in English about our town and Ukraine, and of course, it wouldn't be a Ukrainian celebration if there wasn't a variety of different traditional dances. Students were eager to talk to my family, from my fourth grade class, which had prepared questions in English even though they couldn't understand the answers, to my 10th graders, who to my disappointment did not enjoy the flaming hot Cheetos my parents brought them, but did enjoy having someone to finally play sports with. At last, we returned to my home, where I lived for two years with my host family. My host parents and two host sisters gathered with my family in our backyard and played some American football, drank my host mom's homemade wine while my ho older host sister and I translated. Language, not an object, amongst family. When I left, my parents hugged me and said, we aren't worried anymore. You have a family here and you found a home. A part of me will always be in Sukuryani, drinking tea on the swing in my backyard and commiserating with my students over the complexities of English grammar. I guess from the first few moments of the bread and salt ceremony, I knew. After all, bread, chlib, symbolizes hospitality, the divine, and the essence of life. Salt, seal, symbolizing friendship, which remains eternal.